hey, you traders, what I'm going to do again is just go over, you know, I didn't actually take any trades. I was going to do a live trade video, but I just, you know, I was actually intently watching MGTI for, uh, just to break here. I got to, what did it get to here? 302. I was actually thinking of my climb back up to the high and test high day at 319 and maybe make a break and a run for four dollars. So I didn't, and I'd be basing at three dollars getting in at about 320 and you know so that's not a bad risk to reward ratio um i probably the mental the mental stock would have been about 310 i always try and get about three to one so if it was three dollars get in at 320 aim for uh four dollars well that's still um four to one I'm trying to make 80 cents okay pardon me my math is pretty shut up so uh, it's pretty warm during the day here in perth now and i don't work outside so Red hair, sunlight, lots of sunscreen, that helps. But I was watching that intently, so I decided not to make the video um, because it would have been me just not talking because I'd have been so focused on like watching, watching, and you're entering the trade. But it was, in the end, a lot of things went sideways. Um, I did notice I am still on Profitly, uh, Tim Sykes's uh, forum, and he got in and did buy an EKSO, which I sort of, I forgot about. To be honest, I was pretty intently focused on just a few stocks. Um, I don't know. It hopefully it loads it up. And it was a dip buy. Look, this is the thing. You know, price action is, is king because, you know, with the fundamentals, we've got Bitcoin. It's pretty much got like 9,700 odd. <clears throat> Pardon me. But... You know, it didn't really, I mean, you know, MGTI is up. And this is a lot for this type of stock because this doesn't really move a lot, to be honest. I've been, I've been watching this for some time. Just out of interest to see a complete collapse because I thought it was nearly a pump and dump. Um, but, you know, there is some, I wouldn't say legitimacy, but there's, you know, there's a little bit of substance to it, sort of. Not really, but. Um, okay, so BTSC. I'm not going to edit that yawn. This is real. It is 10 past 11. I didn't, I got about eight hours of sleep last night, so I sort of feel guilty when I do do that, but I still run track 100 meters and 200 meters. So, um, you know, I do train a little bit and I know some people, it seems the people that are obsessed with stock trading, uh, do learn quickest and get, you know, making good money quickest. But, you know, I'm working a day job. The day job's not too terrible when I can study you know, during workouts sometimes as well. So I'm just, I'm not going to leave my athletics and everything straight away for this, to be honest. Um, I'm not that madly keen to just, you know, study 17. And I'm aware of that. And I'm not saying, oh, I want to make money straight away. I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, that's, if you do want to make money really, really fast and, you know, you've just got to learn relentlessly. But anyway, so I'm, I'm focusing on dip buys, focusing on uh, breakouts. EKSO wasn't really on my radar. Um, it, it sort of had a bit of a panic. And, and Tim did have a good thesis in his watch list as well. But I find if I focus on too many things, it gets a little bit muddled in my brain because, you know, I'm really not that intelligent, to be honest. I think he got in, that was that significant sell off. He got in like 260 odd to 68. And it got up to. So it wasn't, I mean, it was, it was unfortunate. The market's down a little bit. It's strange, you know, and the lesson I want to sort of get across to people is, you know, don't just buy because everything's going on. You're like, oh my God, it's just, I have to, I can't miss out on this thing. You really just have to let, you know, the price section tell you the story. And, you know, obviously there's going to be a run up because it was, you know, it was trading higher pre-market was up from, you know, to 225 or so. It got up to 250 um, earlier in the day pre-market. So, you know, that's what's, that's what's going to happen. Um, and, you know, this was sort of like, I was thinking, you know what, I'm just waiting for a dip and it sort of happened. And I was watching this intently and I was thinking, you know what, let's, let's make the live video. But then I'm like, no, like I need to focus on this. I don't, you know, I'm not that good of a trader to be able to conduct a, you know, live trading session. It's not, I mean, technically you could say, Scott, this isn't live, but, um, you know, I, I'm trying to work out the live stream. I, sh I probably should. Um, I should probably tell it, to be honest. But I don't know if my internet can tolerate it, to be honest. Because um, when I run stocks to trade, it's running YouTube, stream. It probably can't. 
I mean, I can barely run Skype and MG um, starts to trade at the same time. So this is headed sideways, um, MARK. I just want to focus on, you know, the main play was MGTI um, because I missed EKSO and it looks like it's heading back a little bit. Whew. Okay, MARK. Yeah, okay. Mm, it's pretty. It's not. Mm, it's falling off the cliff here, really. Low volume. Oof. Um, I wonder how X Xnet's going. Down the toilet, maybe. Yeah, so I, I was saying MGT out of four dollars. I was saying that on Instagram, I was saying it on you know the watch list video. So and that didn't really happen at all. And I'm sort of glad I didn't play that Xnet. Um, close that immediately. Uh, what else was it? M A R A. How is this looking? Guys, if you haven't already as well, if you like Forex stuff as well and stocks, if you want to learn about either one, Trade Talk Pippin, Connor and myself, this is a shared uh, Twitter page. And we post, he's only Forex, so he'll be doing charts on, you know, he's more uh, a box type trader and trend trader. I'm just a trend trader when it comes to Forex stuff, and this is just something I, I, I sort of wanted to learn. Because the trend trading stuff is, it's weeks at a time. Like I'm in a sell trade on the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. And, you know, that's like two weeks or so. Maybe even more. I won't bring that up because, you know, it's, we're, we're, not, we're not about Forex, you know. But what I will say, uh, Forex is, you know, if you're high time frames, like four hour daily, there's a lot of room to move and, you know, this is, it's, it can be very manipulated though, Forex, so be careful with that, guys. You've got to be aware of that. So I have big wide stops. I let things develop. I just capture a trend, let it go. Really maximize your runners as well, which is a struggle for me. It's a natural thing to want to end a trade and take the money, you know, when it's going okay. Um, MARA, guys, uh, no trade really at all there. Mm. What else was there? Oh, SARX. I don't know how this is. I think they're in a blockchain. I don't think so. They might have mentioned it or something. But um, social reality, yeah, down. MARA was up considerably pre-market. Um, I think it had a little bit of it. No, it was, it was SARX and it's down a little bit. Maybe, you know, just with the market digest the news perhaps. We're going to have to go to bed soon, unfortunately. But MGTI is down as well. Guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. And all this week, I will be here <laughs> trading the first hour or so. Okay. Guys, have a fantastic session. Good luck. Happy trading week.